Path of Gaming Radio right now, bringing another coaching session today with Saint. Hello. What's up? You are, this is Diamond 2, but you're essentially Diamond 1, and you're aiming for Master GM, I believe, right? Master GM. So let's get you there. Let's see what happens this game. Okay, if, if we get into the game, eventually. Take long loading. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so you're saying, um, okay, yeah, going for TF. Yeah, so, yeah. Left yeah. Here. Okay, so yeah, so that is like okay, so then. Uh, so then this kind of says like yes I, I'm probably going AP. Like probably going Lux or something, yeah. Okay, so here you just buy out the shop. You know that Katarina's the worst unit in the game right now. You're playing units you wanna uh, keep. I, yeah. I usually don't play assassins. Yeah. That's one thing as well. I usually yeah. don't play assassins. Um okay, you, you shouldn't just not play assassins. Like uh -oh. Talon and Echo are the best units in the game, or like best early game units, right now. Well, I meant like just generally for the late game. Uh, like I'll, I'll definitely play. I, I know Talon and uh, Echo are pretty strong early for sure. I'll spec them into my comp if like they end up there. But yeah, I usually won't go for like an assassin carry. It happens sometimes, but I, um, I usually I mean, avoid it. Akali's not that trustworthy to be honest. Like you can't rely on her too much. She's <laughs> Quite unreliable because, yeah. like, um, Akali is kind of like a shittier version of, version of Kaisa in that mm -hmm. Kaisa goes farthest away, which isn't always true or the best, but like, she tries. Yeah, While Akali is melee, mm -hmm. so like, she has to jump into the fray. Yeah. So she's likely to get, get hit by like every stun, and she's like really good at like zipping through the units and like okay so there's like a stun incoming in the front line so like she's gonna zip towards the brom stun and then there's like another stun flying out from somewhere else so she's gonna zip towards the other stun and just like yeah she gets cc'd a lot so that's why she's okay. not that reliable but as like a two star five cost with like a gaie blue buff or gaie and giant slayer or some hodge or something she's actually okay like a, a recent a recent in a recent video I quote someone and he was playing Fiora carry I tried to convince him to play Akali and once he pivoted to Akali it was even stronger on like level nine and it was just Titans Titans Hodge and it was like enough there were enough resistances for her to survive and just eventually to wipe out everything with double Titan stacks. So But yeah, you shouldn't be focused on Akali too much. Okay, okay, how quick are your hands? Uh, we have uh, ten gold. Yeah, we definitely have two, four, six. I, there's no way I sell this in time. I don't think I do this. <laughs> there's ten, ten gold keeping the TF. Yeah, I, I mean, you could probably try to sell everything as well. Like, just ignore the fact that you have a TF pair. But yeah, there's. I mean, I guess this is this is the frustrating thing. Like, yeah, you get it at the, at the end. So like, you just can't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so rich get richer, so you're playing, you're keeping your options open, love it, okay. So now... Um, what did you say the other two were any, uh, I, I think the other two, I think I saw the other two and they weren't even close to being options, I forgot what the other two were. Share the spotlight, um, I mean, this is played back in 11.24, so share the spotlight yeah. is by far the, the strongest and most broken augments. Okay. Ideally, you scout out and you find out where the spotlight is. Because mm -hmm. if it's like bottom right corner or like front left corner, I think those are like the shittiest ones because you only get two extra spotlights. <laughs> but if you get at least three extra spotlights, it's already good enough. Or like the front row, you get like four extra spotlights. It's so fucking good. Because like yeah. you get, I mean, you, you that in that route, like uh, if that happens, you just force some sort of socialite comp. Okay, yeah. And it's like, well, your, your carry gets extra extra mana, 
and your other like other utility units get extra mana. Your your Galio and Siren can get extra mana. Like it's just bonkers. Like all the extra mana and the extra damage is just so 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 good. Okay, makes sense. So it's it's close to force like right now, like today, like uh, I guess today in the US as well, like twelve point one is out, and they they nerfed two socialite, so it's not yeah. five mana but just three mana. So uh -huh. now it's it's kind of balanced. So then it might not be as broken to go for show the spotlight. Sounds but when it, like when it was at its peak, it was like super op. Uh -huh. so, so I should try to. Yeah. Look out for these augments that are considered really OP. <laughs> yeah, like, especially since this, this was a four-week patch. So, like, yeah. you definitely should have known that Share the Spotlight is, like, the <clears throat> most broken thing right now. Okay. And then, Rich Get Richer is kind of standard. Right? Um, yeah. The fact is, you already have 10 gold. So, like, Rich Get Richer is good, but you're making... F you, you can make 50... By end of stage, stage two, regardless. Okay. So like, Richard, Richard is good, but the value you get in this game in particular, because you already have so much gold, is kind of lower. Okay. Makes sense. And Spellblade. So here, um, Spellblade makes a lot of sense. Since you already have actually. the two Arcanists and you already have a tier, and you're already leaning towards Arcanists. Yeah. But like, honestly, all of these are really good. Like, it's, oh. you're not even oh. offered any garbage. So like, all of these, in my opinion, are pretty good. Like, Share the Spotlight was really strong. Rich Get Richer is good because you set up your economy. And Spellblade is, is good because like, you, you start a tier, so you're more likely to lean towards playing something like Lux. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. And the more Arcan like Arcan is just kill shit. Like that's really really good. Like yeah. Um, Spellblade is probably one of the strongest early. And do you know why? Like it's yeah, because uh okay wait so the bonus magic damage is equal to uh because it it's, it doesn't seem to scale too well at all um so, so it, it scales it, like kind of a flat amount and it, it does scale. The auto attack damage is a lot. okay. I mean, two, two Arcanists, four Arcanists, six Arcanists, it does scale. Uh-huh. What's the reason? Okay, so... What are What is the strongest early game synergy that you should play every game, if you can? Grab? Okay, Grab, Chemtech. yeah. Chemtech's also pretty good, I think. Um, not so much. Okay. Hmm. Any more uh, I'm not sure though. Okay, bodyguard, right? Body. Oh, bodyguard, right? Okay. Don't most people play bodyguard? Like Darius plus Poppy, Darius plus Blitz, Poppy plus Blitz. Okay, so our uh, Spellblade is very good against bodyguards. <clears throat> like that, I like maybe in your lobbies you don't notice it as, as much, but like whenever I play against high elo players, like they're they're uh, almost always going for for bodyguards, two or four bodyguards. Because of the fact that most damage in the early game, like almost all damage in the early game, is physical. <laughs> and like, the more I think about it, you always want to have mixed damage. So like, if mm -hmm. you go for Spellblade, and then you play Arcanist, and hopefully you have like a little bit of uh, AD somehow. <laughs> like that. that's why... Um, it's I don't know, like I don't know it's not really meta right now but I prefer playing like four challenger for academy over just like going like uh, just like challengers with tanks like Yone with tanks or just like six arcanists okay. cause like if you're playing four challenger for academy like it's not the comp is not as strong but it also doesn't get screwed by anything as much. Like, if someone is going uh, a lot of bodyguards, Lux kills shit. Mm -hmm. Right? Or, or if someone has a lot of enchanters or, like, D-Claws and this kind of stuff, then Yone kills shit. So it's just like, like, sometimes you want to think about having mixed damage. Like, in the end, you usually just focus on one source of damage. 
So it's just like, okay, so if I'm going this one source of damage, like magic damage, and there are people who have a bunch of D-Claws or a lot of enchanters, I'm going to have a bad time. Mm -hmm. And I think it's more specifically physical damage because they are, like bodyguards are more prevalent. Uh, prevalent. Yeah, so it's just like, if people are playing a lot of bodyguards, and I'm trying to win with Urgot or Yone, and I don't have a Last Whisper, I'm going to have a very bad time. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so here, I hope we're making 20. Please? Uh, I think I have 20 on the bench, right? Yeah, you do, you do. I think I probably do end up doing it. Okay, very good. Okay, so here you're making thirty, by the way. Oh, uh, oh, selling the that is real. Just sell everything. Fuck it, sell everything. Oh, uh, what's the reason? Okay, you have rich get richer. Uh huh. So it's like this, like this is a different game. Right now, uh -huh. you're playing Scrooge McDuck. Like you want to uh -huh. be 30 on to one, 40 on to two, 50 on, on to three, 60 after carousel, 70 before Krugs, and 70 uh -huh. on Krugs level five with 70 gold and 60 uh -huh. HP. Isn't, doesn't really that sound, sound good? 70 gold, that's, 60 that's HP? That's a really good position. Yeah. And then, like, on three, on 3 2, you can fucking go 7 and have, like, 30 gold to roll. And if, you, <laughs> if you're healthy enough, you go 7 on 3 5, and you have 50 gold to, to roll. And if you're healthy enough still, you go 8 on 3 7, and you have, like, 30 gold to roll on level 8. Okay. And that's just, like, because you got rich get richer, and you got a gold start. So it's, like, double high roll. So, like. Oh, okay. Um. Looking at your board, like there's there's two options. Obviously, you could try to play strongest board and do all the proper things. But looking at this shit, like, are you gonna win rounds? Hmm. Okay. Uh, if I had a stronger board right now, like let's say I had a pair of TF or like uh, some decent arc, like a, a Vex or something like that, yeah. or Arcanist, something like that, would you opt to play? Would you opt to level four and play stronger board instead? Of course, you level to four here, play stronger board, you win. You level to five on two two, play stronger board, and keep going. But five on two two. I mean, you still have like ten gold, right? Oh right, okay, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So it's like, yeah, yeah. like that's that's the thing that most people are like not comfortable, or like they're in their comfort zone, but they're uncomfortable leaving the comfort zone. So it's like, okay, I have a fuck ton of gold. What does that mean? That means I should play for even more gold. Boom, let's get the 30. Let's econ like a crazy person and like hit 70 as soon as possible. Like you want to be hitting 70 by 2-5. And that's possible this start, definitely. Mm -hmm. Maybe even... Uh, uh, let, yeah. Let's say I didn't have Rich Get Richer. Would you still do that? No. No. You, uh, would you play... What would you do? Okay, Rich... rich okay, if it's... If you had the uh, different augment... Yeah, let, let's say I had, like, a, the same amount of gold, but no get rich, get richer. Uh, I would still make... Okay, so you wouldn't have this much gold. There's no way you have this much gold, but I would still get to 20 here. I would still, like... Okay, so you're not getting to 30, but I would get to 20. Because you can still get to 50 after carousel. Oh. Like, even without rich oh. get, like, even without rich get richer, like, if you sell here, you get to 20. So 20, 30, 40, 50 after carousel. Would you start making your board after carousel or just go all the way to AI? Yeah, to, to the crux, definitely. Like, why would I bother with a board here? I would just like, okay, I would just start like, as soon as I hit 50, I would start buying out the whole the whole shop and try to find a comp. <clears throat> okay, makes sense. But it's like, if, if you have a jump start on your economy, like the early game is not that important. So like, but like, it's really just stage two. And stage mm -hmm. two, you got to decide, okay, am I winning or am I econing? Mm -hmm. Like, yes, there is some merit to playing, like, a reasonable board and ending stage two between 80 and 90 HP and, like, 20 and twenty or 30 gold. That's fine, too. Mm -hmm. But when you're at these extreme, like, okay, 
Why shouldn't you try to win streak with this opener? Because I, I won't be able to maintain it. Yeah, but like, what, what, what are the, what are the, let's say, three opener options? There's a few more, but like the three main ones. Like the the most common opener is like the like for the sorry like what happens on on the creep rounds. So like typically after creep rounds, uh, what do you get from the creeps? Uh, uh like couple items and gold yeah and like or some combination of the two. two items five or six gold okay so in in this way if you have any two stars like if you have a two star and can slam then you you aim for win streak uh-huh and then let's say uncommon I don't know, like, I don't know the exact rarities, but, like, what is uncommon? <clears throat> um, three items, I think? No, 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 or... sorry, uh, you get two, like, you already have one, you already have one item. Oh, you already start one, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, getting all gold is uncommon. No, that's oh. not uncommon, that's rare. R oh, that's, okay, that's, okay. So, all gold, um, which means you have 20 gold. Which means no items or like one component, so you cannot slam. Huh. Nothing to slam. One component, right? Huh. And that just means you econ, econ, econ. Even if you have a two star. Um, like. Dependent. Depending, you probably need two. Two. Like, there's. You can't like actually make yourself. Uh, Stronger, because you don't, Slamming. you can't slam anything. Yeah. So like, even if you have a two star S without items, he's he's not that great. He's not that great. And if Makes someone sense. else has a two star S with with uh, a sword or a bow, like maybe Ezreal, if you have scrap, like technically you have an item. So like, it's not always this way, but like if you get twenty gold early. You should probably econ. You should probably econ. And like, and this this other option. Sorry, it's not it's not twenty gold. I think it's like sixteen. But then there's like the other gold you have. So you get like sixteen gold. I think. You'll probably be able to make twenty. I think. Yeah, you, you can make you make. I think it's like somewhere around sixteen. And like this one is one item, and then, I think it's like six extra gold or something. So it's like twelve gold. So maybe this is like eighteen. I'm not even like I'm not completely sure, but it's like I just know it's a lot of gold. So then, this is also like lean towards economy. Okay. And then there's also an opener where you get three components, right? No, not anymore. No, not anymore. Okay. Like, sorry. Like, I'm just. I just gotta make sure that like, uh, you have a component from Carousel. Yeah. 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 So then this is like plus two, plus one, or nothing. Okay, okay. Uh, so from Rock and Garner is just basically like, I mean, the the less components you get, the more you tend to lean towards Econ. Yes, and it like the fewer components you get, it also means that you got gold. Because you do get something. Like, yes, sometimes you get a Nico, and it's really painful. But <laughs> most of the time, most of the time, you're either getting components or gold. Um, the, oh, yeah, also, I guess we, I mean, I'm not sure if I get any, I don't think I get a Nico this game, but... Uh, how does your playstyle change with Nico? You just get tilted, and that's it. Um, cause Nico's, really? Well, Nico's is two gold, uh -huh. so like, two gold is wasted. If you get it really early. Okay, um, okay, okay. Essentially, <clears throat> I don't change it by much. Mm. Like... You typically just want to play your normal your normal game, and then you can Nico uh, a forecast if you get it early enough, or you just Nico a legendary, right? Okay, yeah, because I always figured logically, um, if you get a Nico's, then you can roll a little more aggressively to find four costs and five costs. Because if you get two of them, you get you get the whole thing. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah. So then it's like if you want to get a spike, 
on seven on like four one, you just need two four costs, which is way easier than three of a kind yeah, or like three of the same four costs. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. So yeah. So this game in particular, that's that's why we have the second vault just to like compare. So this game, you got a econ start. So I would just go full econ. It's like not go full econ here. <laughs> <laughs> So you're you're playing, you're playing the other option. I'm strong enough to win streak, which, which I am actually definitely not. Which you're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, isn't thirty gold better than this? Like, yes, you would be. You would lose. You would lose uh, four more HP, but you're already at thirty gold. Because from thirty gold. I'd actually be able to make 40, yeah. You would make 40 yeah. because you you wouldn't have spent the, the 4 gold to level, so you're at 40. Yeah, 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 okay. That, and now oh, you're yeah. at 40, here you're at 50. And then, as I said, 60, 70. And then the, the game just, like, is insane. It's easy from there, yeah. Like, you have 70 that. gold on stage 2. You just stay yeah. at 70 gold <laughs> for a few rounds. And then maybe you dip down sometimes to like get a little bit stronger and stabilize, but you just try to rush eight, and you, you typically you can get to eight on on three seven. I've done that before. Like I was at like twenty thirty HP, I got to eight on three seven, and I found a decent enough comp, stabilized, and then I just steamrolled stage four and five because I was already in my late game comp while people were like still playing the mid game. Yeah. So this is just like not playing to your your augment and your and your and your start, right? Mm. And I hope like I yeah I, I, only, I, only, I, only, yeah. I only killed one unit too yeah yeah I see what you mean right so it's like mm -hmm. is it really worth losing two gold interest here to kill one unit? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. So here it's always list over poppy, right? Uh, yep. Wait, please, please. No. I don't do it. Oh. Is, is list a better frontline? Uh, I guess she's a three cost. She's a three cost. <laughs> yep. So it's like list is better than poppy because because why right now? Uh, Morello's is good. No, just, or... I mean just like right now on like on your board. Oh, uh, because I can do it without sacrificing econ. Okay, but like, why is Liz better for like the board board strength than Poppy? Does she have more HP? I would assume so. That's something I would assume. Uh, okay, I'm not sure on exact any exact reason as to why, besides the fact that she's a more expensive unit. Yeah, but that that's good enough. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I'm hinting at the fact that you have no synergies, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, because if I have bodyguard, obviously Poppy. Yeah, better, if you had Poppy I... bodyguard, you keep it. But it's like, okay, Liz has 750 health, and she has the like the the stun and reducing damage and all of that. So she has a lot yeah. more going for her. Yeah. 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 While Poppy, I believe, might have the same HP. And her First... ability is so much worse. Because Poppy, like, okay, Poppy is is a tank, while this isn't as much of a tank. But at the same time, it's like, do you want 750 health? Oh, it's actually 650 health, yeah. Actually less, oh, yeah. So 100 less health and, like, <clears throat> not, no real ability, right? Yeah, got it. Got it, got it, got it. And, oh, and you, 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 still, you still keep your econ. Yep, yep. Makes sense. So there's like a two-star Garen who's kind of a semi-tank, semi-damage dealer. So like the list would... So here you would... Okay, yeah, you kill two anyway. Yeah. And added added benefit, maybe you keep the TF. But like it doesn't matter that much, but like you might need a TF once you find... Uh, what would I, oh, oh, what I need that... Uh, I don't think the only reason I would need a TF is um, if I needed to swap the blue buff and I couldn't find another TF. Yeah. But... 
most most of the time I'm selling TF. I'm definitely not going three star. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just like in the long run, you might as well keep it. Okay, okay. Okay, now we're econing. So now, now this is yeah, this is fine. So you're at forty instead of sixty, right? You could have been at sixty here. Yeah. At sixty with a little bit less HP, but not a big deal. Yeah. And you're playing Yordles because you realize like this is an econ game, so it's like on one Already hand. Lost oh my god. Nice, oh, very nice. So now it's like yeah. <laughs> Now it's kind of screwed. Not gonna <laughs> lie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I accidentally won that one. That's not great. But did you scout those guys? I I don't think you. I don't scout much at all. So I get lazy with this. Stuff. So don't you want to lose here? <laughs> like you have the time. So. Yeah. And you have the blitz Fair overlay, enough. so it's like, you know, you know, you're playing one of the weaker guys, right? Like, this guy doesn't matter, he beats you, but, like, these guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better grief sure. your positioning... <laughs> you better grief your positioning so you actually lose. Oh, okay, got it. Or you can, like, put oh, in uh, like a one-star I'll literally just, just put in the, uh, just put in, like, the... What, like, just, just, uh, just put in, like, the Swain instead of the TF or something. Yeah, so put in one-star like TF, put in Swain instead of TF, uh, put the TF in the front row, all those things. Anything, anything yeah. Cause like here you don't so, have great econ and now you don't even have a great streak. Hmm. So if you have a three loss streak and you have a weak board, you would always opt to just try to lose the next two intentionally. Yeah. Got it. And the reverse is also true. If I have a decent enough board, I want to do as much as I can to win streak. Uh, if, if you if you have a three loss streak and then you has to have a decent you hit a decent board, would you just opt to just win the next two? Yup. Okay, got so, it. So, like, again, here, with your economy, why don't you level and play Talon? Uh, don't I potentially go under 50? But don't you get two gold from the streak here and here? Which is better than 50? Okay. Makes sense. So, I mean, here you look at Mr. Lawson, and if he's super strong, you're like, fuck it. And then, you, and then you look at Four. Bat Wait, no, Shiv and uh, Den's GF. And, like, if you beat these guys anyway, that's fine. If you can't beat this guy, it's fine. But it's like realizing, okay, two win streak gives me more gold than being at 50, correct? Because, yeah. like, you get plus ones for streak here and you get plus one for streak next round. Mm -hmm. Well, oh shit, okay, but you have rich get richer. It, it's okay, but, like, the streak is. I, I prefer the streak, like just getting to forty here and then getting to fifty next round, or like yeah, and you get the streak. Yeah, no. I mean, it's, it's sure. the same even, thing. Even yeah, even considering richer, rich get richer, I do like the streak idea a little better. It's yeah. a, it's like the same gold, but you preserve <laughs> a little bit more HP, and it's like why not have a streak? And maybe you can continue the streak on stage three, since you have a lot of gold anyway, so you can get to six on three one and just. But that that's just like okay, the whole strategy shifted once you won this round. Yep. And I don't yeah. see you, like, doing anything considering the fact that you won this round. Yeah. So it's like, ah, I won a round, who cares? Mm -hmm. Right? So it's like, well, you won a round, that means you should probably try to win more rounds. So, like, this guy is level 5, and I'm pretty sure that uh, if you play... If you level up and play the talent, oh, it's close. It's close. I think I, I lose actually. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I think you, I lose now. You might yeah. lose as well. But now you're but, but, that, but, but that's like that's only looking like in the past because you know I, I didn't know I was gonna face him to be honest. Yeah. So so but like, okay, yeah, you look at you look at all all three guys. You're like, oh, I I don't beat anyone even if I level up. So then I don't do it. Yeah. So eventually, okay, so looking, uh, yeah, so like, you should have inted more to get the full streak, and you should have had more gold. You would have less HP, but you would have more gold, and you'd have a perfect yep. streak. So that's like, yep. I'm going to say like a uh, almost 20 gold difference, like 15 to 20 gold difference, mm -hmm. which is a lot, right? 
it's meaningful for sure. Yeah. Like hitting hitting seventy two stages earlier, it just gets you more interest, and yeah, the 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 streak is is painful. Ah, uh, yeah. shit! Th these items are horrible. But what is an item you can make right now? Uh, I could technically make Sunfire, but or Hodge, but I no no. I don't like not okay. Trap off? Hell no. <laughs> uh, 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 shit. The only yeah, last one is Frozen Heart, but. No, there's another one that actually makes a redemption. Bit of sense. Yeah. Really? Why? Why redemption? Okay, so how does the the organist comp work? Uh, Vex. Is it because Vex works very well for redemption? Yes, but like the whole the whole premise of the comp. Um. So Vex and Swain frontline. Uh, Lux backlines just shoots her laser until she kills people. Well, the whole premise of the comp is keep Vex alive. Yep. And when, when Vex dies, it kind of all goes shit. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. So, if you have Redemption on Vex, it's likely it's gonna, like, the, the reason it works really well on Vex is because Vex loses a bunch of HP, then pops her, or like, gets her shield up, then she can get healed with Redemption during the, the shield, and then the shield blows up. And then hopefully she gets enough healing and like somehow she'll maybe cast again while she's at yep. like 10% yep. HP and she gets really high value from the redemption because she's at 10% HP. So she gets almost 18%, like because it's 18% of missing, not of max. So like yeah, she yeah. gets like 17 or yeah, 16, 70% of her, her max heal. And it's like really, really good. Yeah, and I've noticed redemption is very good in effects. It's also, these items are fucked, but it's like, don't you want like a Bramble and a Jeweled Gauntlet? Bramble or Jeweled Gauntlet, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, ideally. So then what are you doing with the, with the belt and the tier? Uh, I think I, I think I probably end up probably going with the, the Warmogs with the belt. That's probably what I'm doing. But is it because it's... If, if I had an option to do warm monks, I would do warm monks here. Yeah. But because I don't, it's not enough. It, it's too much value to make the redemption right now. Um, okay, like, also, I'm thinking yep. because I already have a blue buff, I don't need a tier. Yep. Also, um, what do you? What is the highest priority from the carousel? Tank item. Or, or jewel gauntlet, actually. Maybe. It's it's jewel gauntlet or bramble vest. Yep. So it's like the redemption. You're not doing like. It's going to sit on your bench the whole stage. Yep, yep, yep. It's losing a lot of value just sitting there. Yeah, so it's like, it's not the best. Obviously, Warmogs is better. Yeah. But Redemption pays for itself by being useful the stage. And, like, what if you don't get a, what if you don't get a belt on, on Wolves anyway? Then what? Then it's just useless. It's, it's dead for even more. Then it's like, um, I still haven't made the Redemption. Because I guess today was also really cool coaching session. Uh, I said make QSS on two one in, in like we were working at a VOD, and the um, guy made the QSS on four one. Cause he, you know, I, yeah, he, I'm like okay, so with with this opener it was like glove glove cloak or some some garbage like that. I'm just like, well, you have a two star trundle, you might as well make the QSS. Yep. And then he came to the same conclusion on four one. It's like, oh well, yeah, with these items, I I might as well make a QSS. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. I look at this and I know this redemption or like this item combination is just going to be sitting there for a long time. Yep. Uh, would you change your decision making if I didn't have a blue buff? Yeah, definitely. Okay, got it. I mean, especially like, especially if you're going if you're going for uh, Arcanist, right? Like, yeah. Blue buff is core, but then it's like jeweled gauntlet and IE. Okay. So like here you're always going like always going for the rod on carousel because like if you're going for arcanist, jewel god is is very important. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And then uh, if you are have there any that, yeah. are there any particular items that you'd say are like the highest priority for slamming? Like in general or or for I guess arcanist? in general. In general, it's like usually tank items. So like bramble vest. Uh, Warmogs, Declaw you can slam, Stoneplate you can slam, uh, GA it, it's like super meta, I, I, I can't uh, 
say how good it's going to be now since they nerfed it from 400 HP yeah, to 250. Yeah, yeah. I still think it's going to be it's going to be good on the GA abusers like Yone, Urgot, Kaisa who ulti during their GA, right? So it doesn't really matter that that the HP after they arrive is lower. It's just like they they abuse the fact that for 2 seconds they're still doing shit. So it's like yeah. It's like I, I made a tier list I think yesterday actually. Um, but if you just look at the items, it's like GA Titans is kind of okay, but it uses a bow. Like Titans is, is not good because it uses an armor and a bow, but like yeah. GA this, this, Shroud is always good, you're always happy with Shroud. And then it's like Spark is is not as strong, but like D Claw's fine. Stone Yo, Yo, fine. Slam Shroud. What? You slam Shroud? Yeah. Most of the time, yes. Mm. Okay. Interesting. I've never done that before. I always thought it was weak early. But... Like, you have to scout in position. Because that's what you're, you're not doing, right? Yeah. So, like, Shroud is only as good as you you make it out to be. Use it. Yeah, as okay. well as you use it. And then uh, Morello, are there any items you would say you would never slam? Then Morello got nerfed as well a little bit. So, no. <laughs> um, so for example, Hodge. Uh, like ne okay, uh, it's easy. That's something I don't time. Okay. So like, uh, Zeke's, ZZ, and Chalice, I think are some Kinda of the bad. weaker items right now. Right? Yeah. And then there's items like, uh, yeah, like Hexta Gunblade, for example. It's very specific. It, it just, yeah, it doesn't provide too much value early either. Uh, Deathblade, quite specific. <laughs> oh shit, IE is, gar is relatively garbage as well. Really? I is bad early. I is bad always. Really? Okay. I mean, give give me a hero like who is I good on? Uh, I figured assassins or Lux. Yeah, assassins or jewel gaunt or jewel gaunt users, right? Yeah. So it's like that's it. It's very very narrow. But then if you okay, look at it. if you look at any four cost carry. If you're gonna go that oh, route, yeah, yeah, I is just a subpar unit item for most. I is just garbage. Like, why don't like even Deathblade is way better than IE. Yeah. Okay, I see that. I see that. So it's like, if you can, then you just make Deathblade instead of IE. Like I'm, yeah. I'm saying, like IE is C tier, Deathblade is B tier. So like they're yeah. not they're not good items, but like IE is way way worse because you can only use it on assassins or once you have a jeweled gauntlet. Mm -hmm. So I'm never happy yeah. with IE. And what else? Oh uh, yeah, this is a non not an item right now. Locket was so Oh yeah, I, I never I never make locket. Uh, and then it's like then there's like rage blade. <clears throat> rage blade is kind of kind of weak. Epic. Okay. But like if you're playing Kogma or if you can make the rage blade again, like for yesterday's game, it was four bodyguard with a Kogma in the shop, and the guy's like, I'm not making rage blade. I'm like, what the fuck? This is like the only time you make the rage blade is when you have four bodyguards and a Kogma. Who actually uses the rage blade and you can win streak early so it's like yeah for specific cases if it's like a kogma sure you go for it and huh. you have a like if you have infinite frontline early game if you have infinite frontline then you go for rage blade but then like it falls off too much uh, yeah. also rapid fire is probably a pretty bad slam too right? yeah rapid fire is kind of like uh because i haven't seen any you want to use it but i have yeah. sheko can use it yone can use oh, it okay. But it's like you still need more bows. Yeah, like, you can like it's Yone. Like Yone, you can have RFC, Last Whisper, and Runant. Uh, that's reasonable, but you need two bows anyway. You need you're gonna four, need four bows. bows. For that, this. That's impossible. So you're, like, not, you're not getting that. You would have to start bow, get a bow from from the first creep round, and get another bow from the carousel, and then you're like, okay, I slam RFC. Because I already have at least Last Whisper. Like yeah. You have RFC and you have a Last Whisper component. Makes sense. But it just, yeah, RFC is... Like, it's also about the fact, like, RFC is not that terrible, but it uses two bows. Same logic yep. for Titans. Titans is is not a bad item. It's just bad because it kills a bow and an armor. Well, armor is Which really, good, really for, good for Bramble, for GA, for Stoneplate, for Shroud. Uh-huh. And bows are really good for like Glass Whisper, Static Shiv, Runons, that kind of stuff. Even okay. Giant Slayer. So it's like, you like it's uh, you value the item based on its components as well, like how good the components are. 
sense. And especially in regards to how it fits your current comp at the moment as well. Yeah. So it's like blue buff, it's kind of fine. You kill two tiers, whatever. Yeah. You can always put it on someone who is, who is like a utility caster. Yep. Death cap, kind of okay. Like, rods are not amazing, and you can always use it. Okay. Hodge, um, it is kind of okay. Like, you kill a tier and a glove, which are garbage. Like, you're killing two garbage components to make a kind of garbage item. Like, yeah. But if you don't need the glove for Last Whisper or for Shroud, then you make it. Uh, how would you say Sunfire Slam is at the moment? Uh, at the moment, like as of right now, it's kind of decent since yeah. since they buffed it. So the cadence is two two seconds instead of two point five again. Okay, yeah, because I noticed in like the past that it's like a, it was like a S tier slam, but I think it's gotten kind of weaker. But yeah. Um, like now, uh, I still think Moral is way better, but uh -huh. the fact that they that they oh shit. Oh shit, it's still 16 over 8 seconds. God damn it. So Morello is 20 over 10. This is 16 over 8. But like now instead of proccing three times, it can you know, like you can you can cause four targets to bleed. But it's like four times two rather than just three times 2.5. So it's I would say it, it it's like maybe low B tier and not C tier now. Okay, okay, cool. But again. <laughs> You're wasting a potential Warmogs or Redemption and a potential Bramble to make it. Yeah, so it's using really good components here. Mm -hmm. So Got that's it. why, in a vacuum, if I have a Sunfire, I don't mind. But I, I, I use the armor which I need for like a, a, a GA or like a Bramble or some better defensive item. So like, and I use the, a belt which like, I could have made a, I could have made a Warmogs. Instead. Uh, so why is Bramble so good? Because most people still go for some sort of IE build, some sort of damage, some sort of physical damage build. Like it, it works against all crits, right? And there's a 25% chance to crit. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it. And specifically, who is it good on? Uh it, I know it pairs really well with Game of War mods, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of champion, I know it works really well in my comp currently. It works really well in Vex. Yeah. Um, I don't know of any other specific champion. Maybe Galley or something? I don't know. I mean, okay, so what I'm saying, it works on any like non-bodyguard front lines. It's perfect. Oh, oh, because it gives armor that they don't. They it lack. gives eighty yeah. armor or seventy armor now. Got it, got it, got it. So like Vex is good, Mundo is good, potentially Tom Kench or Zach if you have them two star instead of Mundo. Um, Scion, it's it's fine. Like Galio, it's okay, but like Scion is probably better because uh, Scion is less tanky than Galio. And then if you're yeah, then if you're like playing real old cog, then it's good on Cassidy or Garen. It just yeah, like it's really good on on, on Bruiser frontline because Bruisers have a lot of HP. So if they have more tankiness, it's really good. And like yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. And there's always some sort of crit. Like a, like if someone is playing uh, any sort of AP build, they want to go for AP crit, which it counters. Got it. And all like like you're forcing them to go last whisper. Everyone has to go last whisper. But all units crit 25% of the time, right? Got it. That makes sense. Yeah. And it has a tiny bit of damage as well, which is kind of nice. Like on a super tank, like super tanks usually don't do not do <coughs> much damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and, and yeah, Vex is getting buffed from 800 to 850 HP now. Yep. Yeah. Let's go! Oh. I do end up doing it. Oh, yeah. I, I think I put on the wrong champion, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. I think I end up swapping it actually to the Vex. But Especially since oh, you're, you're closer to Vex 2 star than you are. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Shit. I didn't, I didn't realize I did that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> uh, would, you, would you stay level 5 here? Um, yeah, of course. Oh, no, you won. You just won. Shit. You just won. 
Uh, I was thinking I, there's no champion I can put on that actually increases my strength of the board significantly. But I mean, you level up, you play the Mazahar, maybe you roll, or like you level up, you roll a bit, maybe you find a bodyguard. Like maybe, like okay. there's... Uh, it's like, it's it's close here. Like, you, yeah, rich get richer, but it's like at the same time, what happens if you like get down to 50? It's still insane economy. Yeah, got it. Um, and again, it's uh, like, well, you're asking you, uh, me to, uh, yeah. Would you choose to roll here as well? Um, just, just, uh, I guess you wouldn't honestly need that many rolls at all to find a better unit. But you, would you roll, just, if you chose to level, would you choose to roll a little bit just to get a slightly better board? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's like, you're asking me these questions and it's like, I don't have the information about the other boards. So that's like one of the it. first things you need to realize, like by not scouting, it's hard to make these decisions. Got it. Cause it's like. Do I need to get stronger? How much stronger do I need to get? Like, this guy? This looks relatively close. I'm gonna say it's in his favor. But if you had Malzahar, like, using his dot, I'm pretty sure you could win this. Yeah. We'll see. Oh no, I lose this one for sure. But it's, I think it's, it's closer than you think. Cause if you if you somehow manage to like start taking down the Cho'gath, you you can win. Yep. Yeah, the moment Cho'gath goes down, everything else goes down. Yep. Uh, do you think I was the correct dog up there? Um, underdogs. Yeah, screw that. Item grab bag. Your items are very specific if you're going for iconist. So yeah, yeah. And you're, I love the fact that you're still greeting Econ even though you're like, yeah, you're playing Rich Get Richer and you're playing Yordles. <laughs> is good. that actually good or? Yeah, it's good. It's actually good because like, you know your board is shit. You know your board is shit, so you're going for more Econ. So, okay. Um, wh what are you trying to do with the Echo? Oh, uh, he's a scrap. Uh huh. But like, what? Are, what do you want? Get... Oh. Uh, I want him to, well, first of all, I wanted to get that thing on him before, so he get the item. I don't think he does end up getting it, but I want him to be able to cast at least once. No, you, you put the glove on definitely on time. Okay, okay. But don't you want him to shroud something or at least banshee something? Oh, right. Got it. Okay, because he is, yes. Got it. I did not think about possible. Okay. Yep. So like, you you can play you can play for banshees. You can play for shroud. And I don't really make too much use of either here. I mean, you do, you don't get you don't you don't get either. But like, you're not if even giving you're not like imagine putting him here and getting a shroud. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Or like at least getting a, a banshees on your TF. Yeah. So you would place them in between the TF and the six. Possibly, yeah. Okay. Or at least, uh, or at least next to it, or next to TF. Like this with shroud, shroud yeah, you win. Match, yeah. It's so like here if you if you got a lot, lucky shroud, you win this. Yeah. Oh, and, and we don't mind winning here because I'm not on the streak, right? Yeah, because we kind of want to turn it around soon, <clears throat> soonish. Yeah. yeah. We didn't get the oh yeah we didn't get the Lulu okay. I think Lulu two is better than Poppy two, so like I would be picking up the Lulus, since you don't have bodyguards anyway. Yep. So here we really want Jeweled Gauntlet, I assume. Yep. So that that's why the that's why the Redemption Slam is good. Yep. So here. You're losing Econ again. Yes. After a loss. At 66, at 66 HP. Hmm. Do you realize that it's pointless now? Uh, because it, it probably hurts me more to start winning. No, it, it just... it just 
you lose two gold. Okay. Hmm. Like, you might as well lose these two rounds. It's not ideal, but you lose these two rounds, you get a four loss streak. And then you level here and you have... You still have, like, 70 gold level 7 here. Right? They got it, got it. Cause uh, you... I figured... Yeah. Okay, uh, another thing I think about is just also... Wait, I, I, I figured I can hit 60 here. So I, I figured it, okay. I wouldn't be losing... Fair enough. Okay, 60 is good enough. 60 is good enough, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, I, I don't know if this is actually something to consider, but I also think, like... One well, other logic I have, I'm not sure if this is correct, but uh, if I go to like 7 or something, I start getting free rolls at 7, so that's worth some gold to me as well. Okay, I mean, you, you have good reason, so so we'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not sure if that's like a way to think about it, but yeah. But I mean... But yeah, I, 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 I can make 60, to, I think that's yeah. reasonable. Yeah. So here it's always get the Fiora, right? Oh, uh, what's the reason? I mean, you can play Fiora with True Gauntlet, you can play Fiora with lots of stuff, no? Like, why aren't you playing Fiora this game? Is there any reason you're not playing Fiora this game? Because it's a blue buff, and I feel like I have a really good arc to start, I guess. But, it's a free Fiora that you can just buy and hold on your bench. If you two-star her, you can play, like, True Gauntlet, GA, and another damage item on her. Hmm. Okay. Like, okay, so I'm, this is, like, obviously mostly bullshit. Uh -huh. But if you get a two-star Fiora right now... I would can, immediately pivot it over. Yeah, you can you can just start playing... You can start playing Challengers. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then the blue buff just becomes dead. But... Uh, blue buff is still used on anyone, right? Like, Yumi can use it. Uh, Janna can use it. Orianna can use it. Like, blue buff is actually really good because it's 50 mana now. Oh yeah, because it gives the starting mana, so yeah. it's it gets just a much earlier cast. Yeah. Got it. Okay, okay. So it's just like... There's like a 95% chance you don't play the Fiora. But like, what, is just, there, what if there's a Kai'Sa next her, shop? Right? So it's like, you already have Fiora and you get a Kai'Sa next shop. Okay, so I'm playing some sort of caster Kai'Sa with Fiora for for challengers. I put in I put in an Enforcer and I'm ready. Okay, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. you, you just want to be able to account for these situations happening. Yeah, you just want to, like, just leave the door open to possible high rolls. That's what I see most people, like, under GM not doing. Got you it. just, you can't just high roll a two-star Fiora and two-star Kai'Sa, or, like, one-star Kai'Sa, two-star Fiora. Because you don't even give yourself the option. Yeah. And here, this this roll is, is, is horrible. Uh... I think I accidentally might have, I might have accidentally rolled, but okay, I'm not sure. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. yeah, I think I accidentally I think I accidentally pressed it. <laughs> okay, so then it's like yeah, he's like, do I buy the echo? Do I not buy the echo? Yeah, okay, if, if it's accident happens. I was, I was thinking about that one. I was really thinking about that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I think it's still by the echo. Uh because it Potentially helps me keep the two straight on. Oh, yeah, yeah. two star echo you win here. Yeah. Right? yeah, 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 yeah. So now you have to sell the Swain, exactly. Wait, where's the spot? That's disgusting, isn't it? That's a disgusting spot, sir. It's a good spot. Yeah. Let's see if I end up utilizing it. Okay, so yeah, um, what do you play with? With Arcanists? What are, what do Arcanists need? Uh, enchanters are just general tanks. Some frontline. Okay, so you, usually it's it's Vex for frontline. Uh-huh. But what is also really good for Arcanists? I mean, look at the shop. Scholar. Yeah! Got it. Uh, would you play those two scholars though? I would buy them. Oh, and, just keep the option open. And if I two star them, then yes. Hmm. Okay. So Bro and Poppy are better right now, but if you have two stars, Ira, two star Lissandra, then maybe it's time to swap over. Hmm. Like that—that's like the amazing. Like that's the 
amazing part of TFT that I love. It's like, okay, as I showed you one of the games, I was playing, I was playing Clockwork Jin without a sniper because I had because I had Knife's Edge. So I was playing the Jin in the second row for like two stages until and I found I found Kaisa and then finally I found two star Fiora. So I swapped my Jin items to Fiora. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so you're playing. You're playing Brom Poppy now, and then you find two star Lissandra, so you're playing Lissandra Zyra, and then you find your Janna or your Yumi, so you cut Zyra for, for one of those. Would you say two star Zyra or two star Lissandra is better than two bodyguards here? Like, let's say I put Leo and Brom, I think that's the plan here. Would you say those Zyra and Lissandra are better? Zyra two star is better than Brom one star. Brom two star, it's kind of close. Okay. But then. Uh, you, you rate Zyra that highly? Uh, Lissandra. Zyra, not as much. Lissandra, yes. Because yeah. Lissandra is kind of CC and kind of frontline. And I rate Scholars highly when I'm playing Casters. Because even though, like, Lux is technically the main carry, Malzahar casting more is good. Right? Vex casting more is very good. Vex casting more is it's kind of okay. Vex probably doesn't cast that much more, but it's... it's actually, actually, I think she doesn't gain mana. Yeah, she, yeah, I mean, she gains mana from being a tank, so it's like you don't need scholars yeah. for her in particular. Got it, got it. And it's like, again, it's like the fact that you didn't even buy it. Also, there was a Leona 2 option or possibility over the Poppy 2, uh -huh. and you insta saw I, I I think the reason why I'm selling is because I'm, I'm forcing six, but yeah. But okay, so transitions should always feel that you're getting stronger. So like yeah. Leona two over Poppy two, and then as soon as you hit like your six Arcanist, then you're taking that shit out and you're like moving it around. <laughs> Got it. It, it makes it it makes it harder, obviously mentally and APM wise. Uh huh. But it also makes you stronger and a better player if you're like, if you put in Leona 2 for two rounds here until you find your board. And then you take out Leona and Brom and then you put in uh, Janna and Liz. I think the logic here is that I'm about to roll down right now. So but what if you just up. like, holding the two Leonas, that's, it doesn't hurt at all. Hurt me, yeah. You're right. Yeah, so yeah. maybe you hold the two Leonas and you roll down and it's like, okay, I hit, I hit... Uh, Two star Swain. I hit my Lux. I hit everything I need, and you don't have to make the Leona. You don't have to make the Leona two at all. Yeah. And got like, it, let's say it. you let's say you roll 30, 40 gold, and you haven't hit shit, and there's a Leona two in the shop. You're like, oh, fuck, fine. I'll take the Leona two. At least it's better than nothing. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So it's like for the low roll moment, Leona two is better than not having Leona two. Yeah. You're I not. Happy about it, but it's like you're content with having a, a Leona instead of not having a Leona. Yep. And just like I know I've been mentioning it, but just my example, having a two star Jin is better than not having it. Than having a one star Fiora. Yep. I wasn't happy about the two star Jin, but I'm pretty sure I got fourth thanks to the Jin actually doing at least something until I found the Fiora. So it's like having the Leona right now instead of the Poppy, or like, if you don't find what you need, having something a little bit stronger is always good. Hmm. I think I end up making a pretty. In I think I end up. Oh! Actually, we'll see what I end up doing. Oh, this hurt so much. What the fuck was this? What I do? You don't see this huge mistake? Uh, just took off scrap for no reason. No. Huger mistake. Oh, um, was there something in the shop? No. What did you just say you're gonna do this round? Roll. Uh huh. Uh, sh should I level? No. Hmm. I'm not sure. I, I put on items. Before yeah, I started rolling. you put on items on Malzahar. What if you hit a Lux? Oh, what if I hit a Lux? Yeah, you're right. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. It's a one-star Malzahar. Yeah, I get it. Okay, and got it. you just had to sell the Swain to move the Redemption, right? Because you put it yeah. on the wrong unit. And you did the same yeah. thing again. Okay, 
So Got here it. it's like, roll first. You hit a Lux, you put it on Lux. You don't hit a Lux, you put it on Mazahar. Mm-hmm. By putting it on Mazahar, no, it's like, oh, I hit a Lux. Um, fuck. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Where, where's the Fiora now? The... Where's the hmm. Fiora? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Fiora would have been good here. And it's now, it's now, it's. Hmm. Why don't I play? I can play four Arcanist. Um, no, it's not four. Uh, you can play two Arcanist. With like <coughs> Vex plus one, and you just play Kaisa Fiora. And Kaisa with blue buff, jewel gauntlet, it's not the best, but it's, 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 and then maybe you make a GA, so she has like GA, blue buff, jewel gauntlet, it's a top four, for sure. Okay, got it. Oh, she hit Brom, very nice. So then you're keeping the Kaisa. I guess you don't have to keep the Kaisa, but yeah. Oh damn! Sorry. Yeah, where, where the hell do you put your Mazahar? Like, how do you position this? Oh, I should put the Ori next to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, this is a loss because of. Oh shit! Okay, never mind. Your front line is too strong. The stronger. <laughs> um, here, yeah. I guess you don't sell the Kaisa. I, I probably would have sold the Kaisa already. Like once you hit the two star Mazahar, you're selling Kaisa. Yeah, because I'm just going Arcanist for sure. Yeah, but it's like if you didn't have the two star Mazahar, I think one star Kaisa is better. Um, so out of curiosity, what would you, what would your next actions here be like in terms of like leveling? Like, are you are you trying to push eight now, or are you, like you continue roll slow rolling, or what? Uh, you push eight here, I think. Okay. Um, would that decision change if you had more Mazahars or Vexes? Yes. Okay. Got it. Like you're not three starring your three cost, but you want to play six Arcanist, right? Yes. So the easiest way, like, is to level up. You can play six Arcanist and you can play two Scholar. Okay, got it. Or alternatively, alternatively, you can play uh, just Taric and and uh, Seraphine, which is. Mm-hmm. Four scholar for your main caster and zero scholar for everyone else. Okay. So it's like, do you, like, and this is like before the patch. Right now, now I think scholar is just better than uh, than the socialite thing, like the socialite hex, because it's it's essentially two scholar, mm-hmm. right? So it's like now it's six mana every two, like six mana in two seconds, because it's three three every second. So it's like three, yeah. six, nine, twelve, which is kind of fucked up. As opposed to like 5, 10, 20, 40, uh, 20, 30, 40, right? So now, like at this point, it could have been either to Socialite because you just want more cast from your Malzahar, or it could have been uh, uh, to Scholar, yeah. And you you still want to go 6 Arcanist. Okay. So I'm cool with you just chilling. And probably level after Carousel. If you're feeling very greedy, you can level. You can level later, but I think it would be after Carousel here. The Carousel because of my health. Let's yep. See. Yeah. So see, like you're playing the Poppy. Wouldn't Leona be better than Poppy? If you had the two star. Oh yeah, the two star for sure. I guess I was just thinking about Yordles, but I I don't think Yordles has any value here, right? Because okay. It's... Um. Do you need value, or do you actually need to start fucking winning? I need HP, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's it's good value, but it's like, um, it's stage four, maybe I should probably go for strong strongest board rather than getting a little bit extra value. Yeah, got it. And why is Leona really good here? Academy with Lux. No, uh, not even, like, you don't have that right now, but like, right here. I am not sure. Look at your board. Look at, like, what do you have on your board? Uh, bodyguards? Yes, but why Leona mm-hmm. in particular? Oh, oh, because I have a lot of frontline units and she can buff them up. Hell yeah! Got it. That's why Leona's really good here, because you 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 have four frontline units, yeah. so she buffs herself and she, and the Braum and the yeah. Vex and the Swain. That makes sense. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. So like here, it's debatable if, if even Leona one is better than Poppy two. Yeah, I see. Because well, like, you, you get what is it like, 
the shield is like 35 35 i believe something it's not bad yeah it's pretty 30 solid. 30 yeah 30 30 and then it's like 50 50 shield that's really good that really would have changed that, would, that would probably would have won me the fight actually yeah yeah because <laughs> it's like usually more expensive units have some abilities Oh, what what item do you go for here, by the way? Uh, Bramble for sure. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, we level. Wait, we're not buying. So we're not buying the Tarek. Why aren't we buying the Tarek? Because yeah. Tarek is an enchanter and he's also a so and a socialite, so it's like you almost always play the Tarek if you two star him. Yeah. So now we're fucking around. Yes, good. So actually, roll. There's your lux. And it's like, okay, so uh, let's fucking around, please. Like, um, <laughs> you're moving, sh like, you're doing things that are not important to do right now. Like, ugh. Why, yeah. are you, why are you playing Heimer? Heimer is, is the worst unit. Okay, right now, okay, he has four attack ranges instead of three, so he's not garbage, but... <laughs> Lissandra is so much better, no? Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. And it's like the time wasted doing this shit instead of rolling means you're bored, like you get a lot and then you just get stuck. Yeah, and it's just like you, you need, you would you would have needed at least another five seconds to kind of decide what to do here. Yeah, yeah. And my board is pretty weak now. Yeah. It's possibly it's weaker than it was before. <laughs> Oh, it's not weaker. You added scholar. Two scholar, oh, I guess. Yeah. Over, over, over one um, socialite. Hmm. And now you're no, no. We never roll during the round, please. I mean, I guess it didn't cost you any econ, but like, if you if you hit something, it would cost you econ, right? Like, if you hit a lux here. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And you didn't buy the Zyra, by the way. Oh. Hmm. No, did you buy the Heimer? Yeah. Ah, uh, this is garbage. Okay, so it's always make your armor, right? Yeah, good. Shit. Do I go for the gallery here? Nope. <laughs> no. So this is where the extra TF comes in, right? Yeah. To get the six arcanists. And you kind of got to have some forethought knowing that you should probably hold a TF from at least one TF from like the mid game because it's going to be hard to hit the TF now. Yeah. Because like it's going to be hard hitting TF. It's also going to be hard hitting Victor. So it's like if you can't find mm -hmm. Victor or TF, you can't play six Arcanist. Okay, fine, yeah. fine. Oh yeah. my god. There you nice. Go. What? Oh, no. Oh no. Wait, is that better? No, there's no way that's... I mean, it's fine. You have a two-star Braum, you have a two-star Ori. Okay. I just got rid of Bodyguard for... And I don't have Enchanter or Bodyguard now, but... Yep. Yeah. So now it's like, okay, maybe I play a Tarek. Nice. Let's see how deep you go. How confident you are in your ability. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, I, I, I would say that you can probably roll 30 gold in one stage. Yeah, I, I tend to just go on the safer side because I tend to be a little slow rolling sometimes. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah. I, like this is this is like testing the other extreme. Most people just stay at fifty or seventy. I'm like, dude, there's no way you can roll. Yeah. For you, I would say maybe stay a little bit higher, because like, what are you actually doing, right? You're you're probably keeping this board just upgrading the board. So it's like there's not much to think about now. Okay. Got it. Got it. It's just upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. So like if it was more complex, then yeah, definitely do it, do it sooner. So let's see if you do the right order of operations. Uh huh. You're wasting time instead of rolling. You still haven't rolled. You still haven't rolled, and now you're rolling. Okay. And now okay. So yeah. Um, you could have also sold the. The Swain, 
you could have possibly sold the Malzahar or something and just like uh, try yeah. to find Lux sooner so that you can wait, 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 did we did you seriously Nico Lux instead of Vex here? Oh um because Vex is stronger here than a, a three star Vex is stronger than a two star Lux here? Definitely hmm okay Hmm. Like Vex just solo carries this shit. Yeah. Because as soon it. as soon as Vex dies, it doesn't matter what's behind it. Okay. Got it. Or I would have I would have like maybe held out one more round and like oh no, but you're 20 HP, so I would have rolled more. Like maybe like you don't need the Swain. Maybe you don't even need the Yumi, so I would have rolled more and then like it's. I think it's very close. I think. It's I was thinking Yumi because I replaced Ori with Yumi. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. But then you should have done that already, and then you would have enough gold to hit you. The yeah. Hit stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Right. So it's like putting the like I do it most of the time as well, and it's just really frustrating. But don't put on items before you roll and before you make your comp. Because you can Got do it. items later and just like... You can do it during the board. You can do it while you're at the board. Yeah, and it's just yeah. like, it tilts me as well. Like, why... Okay, there you go. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh god, I hit that. But I lost a lot of HP. Yeah, and now it's like, one bad fight, GG. One bad fight and I lose. Here, I got an eighth. Oh wait, no. I don't think I end up getting eighth here, but... But like... Uh, it's not a great situation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right here, uh, I guess... Honestly, I guess the decision making doesn't matter too much here anymore. Oh, now it's just about positioning, actually. Yeah. There aren't any more decisions to be made, but there's a lot of position to be made. Yeah. I guess long term is just you're technically trying to go nine and put on an enchanter or something, but that's um, pretty long. Uh, yeah, in your spot, I would be donkey rolling for Mal 2 and Yumi 2 and Victor 2. I think. Uh, I was just thinking Victor, Victor 2 and Yumi 2 are not feasible to hit. With my gold. They aren't. But you can just die. Okay. So Fair like enough. there's option A, dying. Option B, <laughs> getting lucky. And option C, getting extremely fucking lucky and somehow surviving until 6-2. <laughs> so like what is more likely? That you survive until 6-2 of this board? Or that you hit uh, upgrade legendary. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I was, I was thinking my board is pretty strong because I hit the three star Vex with good items and two star Lux with. Oh, I guess not ideal items, but two star Lux with solid items. Okay. Um. But what do you need to need to need to need to do if you're playing Lux, and if you're in this spot? Position. Yeah. Scout. Scout in position. Yeah. Got it. Cause I mean did you play set five at all? Uh yeah. So it's uh, the Velkaz. Same, yeah, same thing with Velkaz. Velkaz yeah. is either extreme powerful or a garbage unit if he if he whiffs his ulti. Yeah. Oh god, okay. Yeah, I guess you can go for heal. But I mean you, you focus on good items on your on your backs, that's important. So like, in this spot, especially looking at the HP, like, to get a top four, or like, yeah, top two to top four, you need to win one, two, three rounds. Yeah. So like, either you're extremely confident you can win three rounds, or you're just donkey rolling for Malzahar 2, Victor 2, Yumi 2. So I'm not, like, I'm saying going 9, is it's not bad, but it's like, you really gotta weigh the fact that you might just die. Yeah, okay. Like, weigh that fact into your decision making. Like, um, am I gonna die, am I not gonna die? I mean, you position really good against both of these guys. <laughs> not even <laughs> <laughs> But that just, 
That's just them being garbage. Yeah, because they could have easily just... Yeah, they could just go on the other side. Okay, so now it's like, hopefully you win again. Praying, like, oh, come on, you have 30, no. you have 30 seconds, do something. Right? Oh, scout or something, yeah. <laughs> like, do something. Like, if you want to climb, like, just having, getting a good enough comp might get you to master eventually. It might not, but, like, if you're scouting and positioning, that's definitely going to get you to master or grandmaster. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know why these guys are still over here. Like, why the fuck is there not, like, a TF in this corner and the Mao in the other corner? That that baffles me. Like, he can just... Uh. Oh, I think he has shared the spotlight. That's why. Oh, no, I think I just die here. Yeah. Yeah. So, knowing that there's a Chogini with a D-Claw, which, by the way, why does he have a D-Claw? Oh, is that bad? Because you fucked up! That's you fucking up! Why oh, did I you get the D-Claw? Oh, to deny it, right? Yeah! Hmm. Like, what counters your comp? D-Claw. So just take the D-Claw so no one else gets it. Like, is Hextech a good item for Lux? It's okay, at best. Uh, yeah, it's like mediocre at best. Yeah. Is D-Claw... An item that completely shits on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, decent, like mediocre to okay, or item that makes you lose. Okay. 1 HP. Yeah. So, like, I don't think that Chogini had the decal before. Yeah, probably not. And that's another thing, we'll like, if you're scouting... I have no idea. <laughs> if, you're, if you're scouting... We'll see who takes it. We can see who takes it. But... Oh, you can yeah, you can do that as well. But then, okay, so this guy, okay, wait, like you see that this guy has double war mogs. He's he can he can slot in the declaw, and then what what? Okay, I guess he didn't play the Chogini. Oh, here you played the Chogini. Oh, he does have. Okay, never mind, never mind. He already has declaw. But you beat him before. Oh, yeah. You beat him before. Interesting. Yes. Oh, I don't know how. Oh, okay, so there's actually a better item here. If it already has D-Claw, so what is the best item here for you? Um, yeah. No. Zephyr. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, 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 was, I was probably debating between Zephyr and uh, Gunblade. But yeah. So it's like here... If it's not, a, if it's not like a Death Cap or a IE... Or another jeweled gauntlet for Lux. It's probably the Zephyr or the Declaw Deny. Like okay. you scout, like you, you should have scouted before the the carousel and known. Okay, who who needs a Declaw? Like, is there anyone that can use a Declaw? Is there anyone that can use like these items? And other option is like, okay, I need to get the Zephyr. Because like, if you Zephyr the Chogini, then I just win. Then um. Oh, actually, I mean, I, at least it comes closer to winning at least, but. It would have been a little bit closer. Because it's actually, yeah. like, you don't have the damage tab open, but I'm, I'm, I think Chokini is doing more than the Malzahar. Mm. Okay. And this was this yeah. was my point. So what is better? Donkey rolling here or not? Uh, Theoretically, donkey rolling, yes. So, the like, that I here. you're not gonna, like, you're not gonna hit the Yumi, you're not gonna hit the Victor, you might hit the Malzahar. Uh -huh. But, what if you do? Right? Like, you it, would, give, it would change the fight. Yeah. You give your chance to hit a two-star victor to hit a two-star... You give yourself the chance to do it. Because mm. it's like... in Like, if you at least had one... Like, not one HP, but like one more life. Right? Mm -hmm. If you had one more life to lose, then you just chill and then you do it... Like, like what I like to play... It's a fine play if you have uh, extra lives. So it's like, oh, I lost a life. Okay, now I have to roll it down. <laughs> but you don't have the luxury of like, I can roll it down whenever I feel that it's necessary. It's like, you got to keep rolling it down and maybe you hit an upgrade, maybe you don't. So like, let's say I had more, let's say I had one more life. 
yeah. uh, than this. Uh, what would you choose to do? The same thing you're doing, and as, as, a, as soon as I lose that life, I would roll it down. Uh, okay. Uh, w would you choose to roll it down over going 9 and putting in an extra trait? No, I mean, if if you were at 20 HP here, and then you got to 1 HP here, you roll it down now. Okay. Or what, like, what, sorry, what was it, like, like phrase the uh, question. So, but, yeah. let, let, let's say I make it to the AI round uh -huh. with 1 HP. Uh, do you choose to go 9 and just put on the trait, or do you choose to roll... Because I'm pretty sure I barely have enough gold to go nine, so I I like pretty much don't roll a nine. I just hit nine and that's it. Um, um, how much gold do you need at nine? If you're looking for a four, four or five cost, just off the top of your head, I, I've done the math several times, but off the top of your head, probably like probably like twenty or thirty. It's more. I think the break even point is somewhere between forty and fifty. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so it's like it's, it's just like simple bad. math. It's very simple math. Like. I'm yeah. gonna do the, the the simplest dumbest math. Like it's gonna be wrong, but it's like eighty gold times five percent. It's not correct math, but it's like it's four. Yeah. So like let's let's go with hundred gold times by by five percent. It's five. Yeah. So twenty gold times by fifteen percent. Oh, it's three. Uh huh. Hmm. So 40 gold times by point. Oh, but it doesn't take into account the fact that you're buying them out. But yeah. You're buying XP. So like if you have 40 gold on level on level 9, it's just like 6%. The math is like, I'm just doing very simplified math. Right? You have 15% chance to hit legendary, you have 40 gold to roll. Mm -hmm. But if you have 120 gold on 8, you have 6%. So the oh, break... I'm hitting... Uh, your unit that you want? Yeah. No, not that you want. Over hitting uh, legendary. A I legendary. Mean, whatever. A it does, like the math. Like I can do the. If you want, I can do the more complex math. Like the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the yeah. actual math is number of shops. So the number of shops for eighty gold is forty shops, right? So then it's times by five because there's five units, so that's two hundred, and then it's five percent of that, so it's times by 0. 0.5. So you have you're gonna hit ten legendaries if you hit. If you're rolling 80 gold. Uh, so what is this all? So, so let's basically say I make the, the TLDR I is if you're going to go nine and have less than 40 gold to roll, it's better to roll on eight for legendaries. Okay. Uh, how much value does having an extra trade here give? So like, I, I guess all I can really put on is a chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then it's uh, it's actually okay. Say, like Oriana would actually be okay since the the guy is playing Cho'Gath and Malzahar, for example. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I, I guess Enchanter doesn't have too much value, even if because it's only twenty MR or something. Yeah. I guess it's like okay, but if I'm playing AP comps, maybe it's considerable. But if I'm playing AD comps, definitely not. But it's like, what the fuck do you even add at nine? Right? Like you just realize there's nothing to add at nine anyway. Yeah. So I it's like. Got it. If you go to 9 and you add, like, this one amazing unit, yes, there is one amazing unit you can add here. What would that be? Uh... Shit, I have no clue. Jace! Oh, because he's just a frontline unit. Because he shreds resistances. Oh, okay. I didn't think about that one. Uh, I was thinking, I have Victor, I have Static Shift for Magic Shred. Uh, it's, I mean, more Magic Shred isn't that bad. That's fair enough, too. I think, I think, like, Jace 2 would be good here. But short of that, like, I don't know, like, yeah, maybe, well, maybe no Orianna 2. Yeah, there, there's no way I'm hitting Jace 2, though, here. <laughs> right, so it's like, oh, fine. Yeah. now that you know that, okay, so it goes, it goes from 5% to 15%. Yeah. Right, but you gotta take the math four. like five percent from one hundred is five percent. Yeah, but yeah. fifteen percent from twenty is three, or yeah, yeah it's yeah. three. I got it. Yeah. So like, just you don't even have to do like the shop outs and all like complicated stuff. It's just like if I have a hundred gold and five percent, that's five. If I have twenty gold and fifteen percent, that's three. Is five bigger I than three? Have, yes. I just don't have that much gold. I just don't have that much gold to roll. Yeah, so like, if you're leveling up for legendaries, just for legendaries, legendary odds, you need 40 gold to roll, like more than 40 gold to roll to make it worth it. 
Got it. So yeah, almost, got it. almost always, if you just need the two star legendary, you just donkey roll on eight, or like you just roll it down on eight. Uh, the only time you'd go nine is if you just happen to have a crazy eco, or you're really healthy, or something like if, that. Yeah, like... crazy eco, really healthy, or you want to pet put in like another legendary. Okay. So like got the it. game I showed you, where I had like Jace two, Jinx two, <clears throat> Isa two, uh, <laughs> Tom Kench two. Every fuck you and me too. Every fucking unit too, and I still lost to Akali. But like, yeah, got it, got it, like got when it, it actually um, does something to put in another unit. Like here, it does nothing. So like, if you're missing a, yeah. like another really cool synergy, which like typically the vertical cool. comps yeah. don't matter that much. Like if you were able to put in a TF and you got an Arcanist bat, then maybe. But I don't. So. But with like vertical <laughs> comps, it really doesn't do that much. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So the biggest mistakes from this game were probably just how I handled the early game Inca. Yep. And I guess I just botched my roll down. Like, but... throughout the game, you were not spiking properly, let's say. Okay. Like here, you kind of spike a little bit, so then you just chill, then you, okay, then you re-econ back up. And yeah, like here, it's like, okay, so here you're already level to 8. Uh, what, would you roll down here? You roll a little bit, and then you kind of got a little bit confused. And then you're holding the Ori's, which you're not going to play. Here, it's fine, and then, yeah, then it's like, well, it's definitely, ro like, it's definitely rolled down here, not here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it. And then I do like the fact that you roll a little bit sooner, and then it's just like... And then here you kind of do the, the wrong order thing. Cause There's like... too much HP on that one, and then yeah. Oh, and then yeah. again, if you sell this Ori, then it's like you're... you're like, you could have you could have already had the 3-star Vex for this fight. Lost me less HP or possibly if, even If you play the Yumi over the Ori, then like, yeah. You lose a lot less HP. Yeah. So it's just like the so. little things. I mean, yeah, you're in Diamond 1 or like Diamond 2. So it's like now it's not like huge things that you're fucking out, but like the little things. Like the whole early game, you could have econ way better, which yes. sets you up for a better late game. And then like, yeah, the win-loss, win-loss, like just willy-nilly, like you got to scout. Like if you're pushing for master or hard, you got to scout. Mm -hmm. I know it might be painful, but like you got to start doing it. Yep. Cause that's like that's the, the biggest thing you can do to improve, like positioning. Yep, yep, yep. Makes sense. So let's let's uh just compare. I want to compare like now like what, why are we why are like doing two vods? Is like the first first vod is like in depth, and then the second vod I just compare like the biggest mistakes. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, just see if I repeat those mistakes yep. as well. I guess. I just want to see, like, okay, you made some mistakes in the first game. Let's see if, if, like, if that's always the case. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it phony here? Uh, just because Phony is generally stronger, but I guess there's also the logic that I already have position for two-star Darius, so I don't need more frontline. Exactly. Um, but I, I just thought the other two were kind of weak. But How is Iron Grab Ag weak? Hmm. I, I guess if I, if I let, let, like, let's say I hit a dead item or something. But, but what is a dead item? I, I guess there's no dead items. Yeah. Like, what are you playing? I don't know. Yeah. yeah, you don't know. So, like, if you get almost any item, you can use almost any item. Okay. Right? Makes sense. Yeah. And also, I mean, they even nerfed the Scrap Heart. Scrap Heart was really good. Like, you, oh, get, an, get, you get an Echo yeah. and a Scrap Heart? Yeah. So, I think, like, Phony Frontline is generally good, but it's like, you already have two Darii. Dariuses, whatever. <laughs> Darii. Yeah. yeah. I got it. I, I don't grab back probably the beer. So it's I don't grab back or the echo, and the scrap. Yeah. It's not fully frontline because why is fully frontline bad with Darius? Well, 
you kind of want Darius surrounded, but you also want the dummies to die. So it's like, what do you do? Yeah. Unfortunate opener, obviously. So we get we get some some stuff. Uh, what what? Did we just sell a Zara pair? Shit, that might have been a mistake. Oh fuck. <laughs> I, oh, that, that was 100% accurate. I meant to sell the Ustana <laughs> for sure. And we didn't even get the to, was, and we didn't even get the poppy. I was, trying, I was trying to click on the poppy. <laughs> so obviously, if you're a little faster, we sell Twistana and buy poppy. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, Ouch. Click to the guarantee. Look. Why are we leveling here? I don't know. Okay, please. Um, you, this is the second game level on two one with a shit board. Hmm. Okay. Um. What would you do here? Open four or something? You don't have to do anything extreme. Just don't level. Okay. Uh. Okay. Got it. Got it. You just play the TF or play the Zyra and the bodyguards. Maybe you win. Maybe you don't. Mm hmm. Like, what does Syndicate do here? Not much. Not much. Why not much? Uh, because it, the Darius will most likely get it. He already has a armor, magic, resist. He doesn't really benefit too much from it. And I also have funny front line. Cause you, and you also have bodyguards. So like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He gets a bit resistances for AP, but the AD resistances aren't that important. Yeah, because he already just, has so much. Just level if you actually have something like really good, like some two star. Like if you have a if you have a two star Darius, I level for Syndicate here. Or maybe if you have like a two-star TF, you can level for Syndicate here as well. Okay. But it just... This board is not strong. Yeah. Like you... Got it, got it. You shouldn't be in the habit of leveling on 2-1 just because it's it's cool. It's like, you okay. need to level on 2-1 specifically. Okay, I'm leveling on 2-1 because I have a strong board. I want I want a position to win streak. Okay. And you're, yeah, your positioning is griefing your Darius. So like, he's not going to get surrounded. So like the whole benefit of having a Darius, like okay, fine, this guy positioned so that he gives Darius value, but he didn't have to do that. That's nice of him. But yeah, that doesn't happen always. But this guy positioned like the worst possible positioning against you, and he's and he still beat you. Yeah, by a good amount too. Right, I'm so it's like unmuted. because he has a two star grapes. Yep. Yeah. So like. Mistake number one, you didn't scout. And mistake number two, you leveled without knowing like what you're facing. Yeah. Got so it. like maybe if, if by leveling you beat six out of seven people or five out of seven people, you do it. Yeah, got it. But it's gonna be like you gotta like weigh these odds. It's not just like a blind gamble. Okay, now you get a Sheko. Okay, that's good. Um really? You're playing TF over Zyra? That's incorrect, I believe. Don't you want like a stun? Okay. Yeah. Um, why is Zyra in particular a lot better right here? Uh, because I have phony front line, they're most likely going to be in a line like that. Exactly, they're most likely going to get stuck in the front and Zyra can have a good ulti. Mm. And it's like thinking yeah. about these little things. Yep. That like, makes sense. I mean, right now, they, they all kind of scatter anyway, so, yeah. But, yeah, just, I mean, in general, Zyra would definitely be better than one star Yeah. Yeah. Moral would change things. So now it's, yeah, Zyra Heimer. So, yeah, you buy those. You keep the option open. Or you can keep the... The oh shit it's it's actually Zigzheimer here Zigzheimer Zyra and on you can start playing Yordles. Zigzheimer. So just uh, like here you just fucking play Heimer and Ziggs, right? Because like, I'm all streaking already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess I didn't see that one. Right, and then next level sure. you add in next level you add in Zyra, and then level six you add in you add in uh, TF because it's uh, this is like the the most broken opener you can wait. Why do I have so many shit so much shit open? Okay, like the most broken opener. I think is I can make ten if I buy 
Heimer and Ziggs, pretty sure, right? And sell the rest. Oh no, you don't make ten. Um, actually, yeah, you can you can sell the Shaco, right? Yeah. So you sell the Shaco. That's nine. That's eleven. I guess that's I was twelve. Thinking about that's Jake fourteen. Yeah, you make you you set you buy Heimer and Ziggs, and this is fourteen gold. So you yeah you. I guess I was thinking I want to keep the Shaco because I want to have Shaco. I guess that's the logic I had here, probably. Yeah, I mean, if you go for IE, like IE is kind of okay on Shaco. Yeah, you can start building Shaco, but just like the strongest opener you can have, in my opinion, or like other people agree as well, it's Darius, Poppy, TF, Ziggs, Heimer, Zyra. Arcanist, oh. Bodyguard, Scholar, Syndicate, Yordle. Huh, that works out really well. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. You were, you were handed this opener. Hmm. Uh, and would you level to make that opener? Or no. You just. I mean, if I'm winning, sure. Here I just play the Hyper and Ziggs for Econ. For Econ, yeah. So, like, last game you're playing Yordles for Econ. I don't know why you're not doing it in this game. Like, okay, so, like, the reason I don't like the Shaco is. Shaco has no items. First and foremost. Uh -huh. Shaco is not gonna get two star anytime soon, and you're lost streaking. Uh -huh. So there's like so many things that are telling me just lost streak and make econ and play an econ trade. Hmm. Okay. Dude, you sold <laughs> Zyra again. Uh, I think I did that intentionally because I figured I wasn't going to play Zyra. But I don't know if the logic, I don't think that was correct at all. So. I, 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 my logic here 100% is because I'm going 5 <laughs> next turn and I'm putting Swain on. That's what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure. But. You, uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, instead of Heimer Zyra, you want to do. Okay, okay. Wait, wait yeah. what, what did you say? You're going 5 next turn? I, I. If I had a guess, I might end up doing that. But we'll see. But why the fuck would you go five? You're on a three last streak. Like at least have yeah. some economy. Yeah, I, I guess I, I get concerned about uh, bleeding out. Like I, I prefer to play from a high HP thing, but I guess this is not a game where I can actually do that. Wait, you prefer yeah. playing from high HP, so you don't get the three cost warmogs here. Uh, what do I do here? You get a rod. Oh yeah. Oh, why did I get a rod? What do I have? Instead of warmogs. I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Hmm. I, I probably end up making Morello. <laughs> On Darius? Or like, like Morello's good, but like here you can make Warmogs, right? Oh god. Oh Fuck. god. Oh god, and what if you win here? So first of all, your Econ is fucked. And if you win here, you're completely fucked. So that's like the same thing as last game. Why are you trying to win here? Hmm, okay, yeah. Got it. Like, first of all, your board is shit. So it's like, you're unlikely to win. Thankfully, you're unlikely to win. But... Probably have winning. You're actually trying to win, which is which is bad. Yeah. I probably end up winning this. <laughs> we'll see. Oh my god, I got lucky. You got okay. lucky, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're, are we scout? Oh, we're scouting. Okay, we're scouting now. Nice. Oh, wow. I actually scouted. Oh my god, good, good, good. We want to lose. But since <laughs> we really want to lose, why do we even level? Why do we not just econ previous round? That, that's a very good point. Yeah. Like, you could have gotten the Warmogs and not made the Warmogs, right? Yeah. Or, or not put it on the board, at least. Like yeah, just keep the belt. Just keep the belt and don't put it on the on the on Darius. Yep, yep. We're trying to lose here, correct? Yeah. So why don't we just play Tristana here over over Shaco? Oh, oh, you're also, oh probably just I didn't see it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I do like the fact that you realize that you're losing now. But it, it was definitely incorrect to even do that in the first place to level but like, like that. Why level and why slam items? Like, yeah. 
Okay. I mean, I do like the realization, but it was like one round too late, so like you could have just lost streak. I mean, yeah, sorry, you could have just econed uh, at a lower level, yeah. Okay, so yeah, okay, so yeah, I guess the Merle's not bad now. Oh, why is the Merle not bad now? Right, because you, I mean, you got another belt anyway, but it's like. Hmm. Oh, okay, got it. I mean, this opener is just bullshit, because, like, what do you got? You got, like, a glove and a cloak. Yeah, this opener is kind of meh. Happens. Wow. Okay. I don't hate it. You're 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 something Adams. I don't hate it. So yeah. Just figure make anything from that. Yeah. Okay. So now we have yeah we got a lucky D claw. So yeah. Wait, what? We're still losing. Just that show gets redemption. Yeah. Oh yeah, redemption is really strong. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So um, so out of curiosity, let's say we were lost streaking. Uh, so we're at lower HP than we are right now. Um, what 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 do you do here? So okay. You go six and try to stabilize. In your spot, you're only at forty gold level six, right? I would definitely be at like 50 plus gold level 6, but I would be at maybe a little bit lower HP. Yeah, yeah, like let, let's say we did, we, we just full lost streak the whole way and we, we were at slightly lower HP um, with more gold. Uh, would we try to stabilize here at 6 and roll? Yeah. Okay. And you would do that by buying the 2 star MF, uh, by buying the 2 MFs, right, for example? Oh yeah, because that would be a great carrier for the Morello. Um, it's kind of a shitty carrier, but it's a 2 star MF. Mm, okay, that's fair enough. Oh god. Oh wait, no, I've been... Oh, I've oh yeah! Nice. Outplayed. That's why you put it here, because you have that trap call, yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay. I hope this is obvious. Oh god. You're having over Leona. Please? Oh no, I, I think I did the worst thing ever. Yeah, there you go. Good. Okay, thank god. Uh, Tome is not good there, right? Um, This is guaranteed the highest spike. They also nerfed this. I don't think you get... No, you still get Leona, actually. You still get Leona from the... Mm. Uh... From the heart. Is the heart with the three class? Is it good because you're getting a three class, or is it good because you're just getting three gold with it? Or I mean, Leona is just really, really strong. Okay, got it. How do I go for here? So oh, here's Spatula as a bait. So. Oh god, I probably go for the bait. I mean, it's isn't it? Oh god. Oh, what the hell? A glove. Why would you I get a glove? That. I don't know. Just. Get a freaking just, bramble or something. Get a bow. Like glove is the worst item you can get, right? Like glove doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, got it. I just, I just killed. killed I just killed the glove. <laughs> you just like, oh shit! How do I get rid of this glove? I gotta kill it with something. And it's like, oh, maybe I got another <laughs> glove. Yay! <laughs> so there's there's a Yone Yone Rudant with an armor for GA. Do I have Rudants? You could have had Rudants. Oh, oh, I don't think I saw the Yoni until now, though. No, but I mean... Oh, if I had grabbed the bow. If you had grabbed the bow... Mm, yeah. Rather than the glove, which I don't know what the glove's gonna be for. Right? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I have any for that. That might have been a mistake, actually. I, I, don't, I don't see why I'd ever grab that glove there, but... Yeah, no, definitely not the glove. Oh god, I'm pretty sure I lose this too. Yeah. Oh. So then here in this spot... What do you think about leveling and rolling a little bit? Or leveling and playing Terry? It's in a win streak, right? Yeah. Because you're on a little bit of a streak and your HP is kind of low and you 
you'll still stay above like 20 if you level and roll here. And again, like if you econed a little bit better, you could have stayed above 30 if you leveled and rolled here. Yeah. Do you, uh, is the Taric a significant increase in the power because of Socialite or is it just a cool I unit? Mean, yeah, I think the Socialite is decent and he's also really good. Like why is Taric really good here? Um, Because uh, Bodyguard promotes extended fights and Taric is good in extended fights. Um, yeah, but like, what and is Morales Bodyguard? also good for extended fights. Yeah, and what does Bodyguard do? Typically, against... uh, give armor, and then yeah. the, off the armor becomes more health, like it, it effective HP. Effective health. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're playing Syndicate and Bodyguard, so it's like effective HP, effective HP. Got it. Yeah. And if if the spot is also somewhere decent, because I think with Terry, uh, you win this. With Terry, you win this round. Yeah. 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 For sure. Oh, uh, do you? Would you say you go to seven and roll a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you roll for? Any sort of upgrades, like anything you can hit, any any good good forecast. Uh, what would be an upgrade here? Like what would be? Any, oh, what kind of forecast? Braum, for example, would be really big here. Mm-hmm. Uh, five syndicate would be crazy. Echo would yeah. be Echo would be cool as well. Uh, like Echo over who? Over Ziggs. Um, or just like add the Echo. Uh, so like Brom and Echo would be really great here. So like you play you play Brom you can, or you play Brom over Leona. Um, also Zyra would be good. So you can take out, you can play five Syndicate somehow. Okay, makes sense. So there's like a lot of a lot of things that that can happen, right? Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, like or, or there's like Lissandra and Zyra for example for more casts, because like. TF is actually a really good carry right now because as soon as like as as much as many casts as he does, like he gets more little spread better. Okay. Uh, out of curiosity, does two Arcanists have any value at all here? Um. Okay. For for who does it have value? Just in general, I'm just curious about how strong like having two Arcanists spec specking and two Arcanists is. But you gotta th you gotta look at the units. Hmm. So okay. shield goes from thirty to thirty six. Ulti is a little bit stronger, but you're not even utilizing the ulti properly. Blitz does a little bit more damage, kind of irrelevant. TF doesn't do much damage. It's mo mostly about the uh, the Morello. Uh, Shaco gets very little scaling from from AP, like from AP. The six bomb is a little bit better. So like, the so, Arcanist yeah, is, yeah, is good for it. for six bomb. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. Because if you if you look at like if you look after the fight. So yeah, Darius. So it helped Darius a little bit. It ah. helped Ziggs a little bit. It helped TF a tiny bit. Shaco a tiny bit. Mm, yeah. Instead of Scholar, which would just make Ziggs cast more, so he does more damage. Oh shit! You would sell the Ziggs. So like, yeah. But Scholar would be good because uh. you would get more cast on the TF, which is which just spreads more morale. Yep. Got so it. here, aren't we buying Katarina for Assassin? Oh. Uh. Uh, guess not. Right? It's like, okay, we don't like Katarina. Katarina's garbage. But it's like, what do I add without without having to roll at all? I just have another unit I can add. Uh, do you think Katarina would actually be better than... The, than anything else I could possibly add? Two-star Katarina? Possibly? Oh, two-star. Oh, two-star. Oh. Uh, well, would two-star Katarina be better than two-star two Ziggs with the Scrap and Arcanist? Maybe better than one star Taric. Hmm, okay. What am I doing here? No, it's never Julie Gauntlet. Please, God. Uh, so Janna. So now it's like, why don't we have a Zyra, right? Yeah, that'd be nice. So then you're gonna instead of instead of um, Taric Ziggs, you're playing Janna Zyra. Oh, okay. I was thinking. Hmm. I was thinking Janna and Zyra replaced Shaco and Ziggs, but... Uh, or that, yeah, sure, or that. Why not? Yeah, that, that yeah. works too. Oh, either works. Okay, cool. But it's like, yeah, yeah I think that's that might actually be better. But it's like, you still want to have Zyra. That's like, the main issue is not the Zyra. Yep. Um, okay, so... Wow, so this is a, a fast 8, okay. So, like, this is... Yeah, but if you're gonna go for fast eight, you gotta you gotta be better at econing early. 
to pull off these fast okay. eights. Okay. And it's it's relatively easy because like your lobbies are not terribly strong. Because like if you're doing this in challenger, like you'll you'll get hit a lot harder. But right now the lobbies aren't that amazingly strong, so it's uh channel over blitz, maybe. Yeah, almost certainly. Right? Because like she has enchanter, so she heals your whole front line. It's kind of kind of strong. Yeah, enchanter. Yep. Yeah. You st you you retain the scrap. You get enchanter. Yep. And scholar. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> not, not, not. Oh yeah, scholar would be so nice. <laughs> but yeah, so here you're winning like thanks to Morello just ta just being tanky, right? There we go. Um, what do we cut? Leona. Mm. Okay, that's weird. Considering how many frontline units you have and the uh, target dummies and all that, uh, like Leona gets yeah, such high value, value here. Yeah. Yep. I see that. And you insta sell her too. Like, why? <laughs> Like maybe you're not playing her, but like, value but yeah. just like don't insta sell shit. Like, what if you two star it? You can put it back in. Yeah, that's fair enough too as well. Like that's that's another trend that like I see in both games. Like you just insta sell something. Like um, but maybe if you had it for like a few rounds, could have been good. Yeah. Leona might have changed his fight actually. So why would have Leona been really good here? I just have so many frontline units. Uh, but also, she provides a uh, magic resist that I lack. You, yeah, she provides magic resist. You got chat on by MF. And if you had magic yeah. resist, then maybe so MF nice. doesn't destroy you as quickly. <laughs> yeah. That's a very good So Leona is like really good with bodyguards because she's the only bodyguard that gives you magic resistance, which your bodyguards lack. She is like a one and a half enchanter or something. Yeah. Archangels, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the social icon here, for sure. That's my intention. Dude, you know how to roll. You do know how to roll. Like, what you were saying, what you were saying last game. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Oh, the trap claw. The trap claw. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I was just pressed for time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Were you though? Ah, oh, okay, you were. But like, you just move the six there, right? It's like... Yeah. yeah. I mean, I yeah. do like the fact that you're putting items on last. That's really good. So yeah, this is, this is all looking relatively smooth. Transitioning reasonably well. Um, You don't need Victor here. Uh, I was thinking I could potentially hit a two-star victory would be better than the Kaiser, no, but I guess... It's, it's just not. Yeah. It's just not. It's not. Yeah, it's a bait, I guess. <laughs> and this is yeah, upsetting. What the fuck? Why do you uh, want Sunfire Ball when you have Morello? Huh? Why do you want Sunfire Ball when you have Morello? Uh, I figured I couldn't go Exile because I have way too many units on the board and I can't proc Exile too easily, but... Uh -huh. Um, and Challenger is definitely better here. Like, do you play Challenger yeah. in the Kai'Sa comp? It's difficult to. Yeah, you don't have room for Challenger. Do you mind having Challenger on Kai'Sa? Yeah, Challenger would be so nice here. Yeah, cha <laughs> like, Challenger is good on Kai'Sa, but you just can't, you can't fit Challenger into the comp. So, like, if yeah. you get a Challenger spat, hmm. Or Emblem yeah, I, or whatever, I, I yeah. think I realized this one, one immediately after clicking, actually. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're pressed for time. That's why we don't have the Banshee's Claw on. Oh, okay, okay. We, we're getting it there eventually. Please. 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 I was trying to get... I was desperately trying to get Yumi onto the uh, correct unit. <laughs> yeah, this is this is good enough for now. <clears throat> um. So in terms of macro play, uh, do you start... Oh, well, like you start rolling or like what after AI 
Oh, here you are extremely stable for, for stage 4. Uh, for stage 4, what about stage 5 coming up? Yeah, you, you're rolling 5-1. Um, yeah, you don't you don't hold the victor, so you're making more money. Yep, yeah. Um, you... Okay, you inst... Oh, yeah, you already have Scholar. You have Scholar. But, yeah, we just, you just need to know that victor, like... Or at least, Victor's like, not a good last patch. I don't know, now maybe victor can compare to... To Kaisa, but you're still like you're still holding garbage. Like, why do you have this? This is again, you sell this to make thirty. Yeah. You sold one victor to make twenty, but you didn't sell the other victor and the Janna to make thirty because you already have two star Janna. Uh, oh yeah, 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 correct. Yep. Now you're gonna be confused with the items instead of rolling. Yeah, time for some confusion. Yeah, very, very good, v very good confusion. <laughs> Uh, it probably didn't matter what I made here, I don't think. It didn't? Uh, Isn't it QSS Rageblade? QSS like on who? Seraphine, for example? In the corner? Oh. I guess, but I didn't sell the Blitz. That's what I was thinking. Well, maybe getting the cloak off of him at some point would have been nice? Yeah, probably. Which I could have done by rolling. Well, which you could have done like, at any point while you were rolling, like just pick up an extra blitz and remake. Yeah, I should definitely make item blast. Yeah. No, no, like remake the blitz. That's what I'm saying. Like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like I, I can sell the blitz and just put on one star blitz, which would yeah. be, and then get actual items. Yeah. And you make yeah. QSS rage blade for for Seraphine. Why? Seraphine. Uh, I am so she can get more cast off, I guess. But. Yeah, and why is that good? Oh, uh, so she can heal? Yeah, you have a fuck ton of front line, right? So it's like, getting Seraphine to cast more, heal more is actually decent. I was thinking Ionic Spark because my comp is heavy magic damage and magic resist would be cool. Magic resist shred would be cool. That's what I was thinking. Um, okay. Okay, it's not, not the worst. But then, like, the unit just dies, right? So, like, this is forever. Like, imagine if you have QSS, Rageblade, Challenger, Seraphine, 2-star. Yeah, that would be pretty solid. Right? So she would actually, like... Like, how do you win here? Well, you have kind of shitty frontline unit, like shitty frontline items, no items at all. So at least having Seraphine and, and Tarek and Janna heal everything will keep your frontline uh, alive longer. Yeah. And then uh, Kaisa will just kill everything. Eventually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like sure. more about like how how does the the comp function, rather than having how does comp work with what you have, yeah. having the ionic spark which will probably survive maybe for one cast but maybe probably not for more casts because it's on a frontline unit. Then having like a QSS rage blade which which is good for the whole fight since it's on a backline unit. Like right, like it's your shot. Your uh, spark is already gone. Yeah. But like seraphine casting more would have been. I mean, would have been you win here anyway. I had to put it anyway. What the fuck? Okay. Because Kaisa just broken. Uh, I, I don't think I end up rolling here. Why would you roll here? Oh, this, this it, is it, the, this it, is the it, spot it, where it's like okay, I'm I'm chilling. I'm going nine. Okay, so going nine here would actually be. I mean, as long as you're not dying, you're chilling. If I start losing these fights, yeah, I should start rolling. Yep. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty sure that ends up happening. We'll see. So like here, you're like, okay, well, I need to, I, I need to survive. But it's like, okay, um, maybe you should have rolled a little bit because it's like one star Brom, one star Leona, and uh, I can hit three star pairs. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to hold the Scion, like, that's for way, way, way later, like, you don't even have... Okay, so here, like... Uh... Probably should have rolled. Yeah. Oh god, I got Zephyr, too. I mean, that just happens, because, like, you're on social right spot, you, you have oh, to take you have to yeah. the Zephyrs. But it's like, oh, uh, yeah, this is... This is just, like, not having, like, you just need a little bit more frontline, right? Just a little bit. Yes. 
So like maybe close. maybe I probably would have even rolled a little bit here because I I see that I have one star bro and one star Leona, like I have a lot yeah. of one stars that are easy to hit. What do I end up going? Two for star bro, two star bro. Oh, oh yeah, I missed it. <laughs> I end up going for the Leo bro. What? What? Yeah. Why do you need a Titans? Uh, I figured more tankiness, but you think Lockett probably? Fuck, Lockett is not an item. Okay, fine. Is that for- oh, it's, sorry, Shroud. Shroud, right? Yeah. So it's definitely Brom for two-star Brom here. Yes. But you were first pick? It. You were just running around? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. it's definitely Shroud as, like, second best. Okay. Got it. So by not getting the Shroud here, and also... What item griefs you? Oh, you got oh you got that for two star Leona instead of getting the two star Brom. Okay, which is honestly not good. Which is way better. He had a better yeah. item and it's a way stronger unit. And uh, yeah, the other thing that griefs you is a shroud. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, out of here, do, do you not think this would be actually, this would be a situation where Locket would actually be okay? Yeah, um, Locket is yeah okay fine. Here I might allow it. Yeah. Because of the bodyguard, and also it gets a shield to Kaiser too, right? Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, still, okay, so I would say two star Braum, followed by, sure. I guess, two star Leona, followed by Shroud, and then followed by Locket. Mm, okay. Sure, Shroud is always great, that's true. Yeah. And, and no, it's, I it's also pretty, Shroud, I I... Shroud really, really fucks you hard. So it's like, you want to make sure that they don't get the Shroud. Oh, yes. That, okay. Makes sense. That's the same thing as last game, like when we we're, were discussing the D-Claw. Like, Shroud is, is good for you, but it's also... And look at the Shroud, like why are you not positioning Janna for... So you're positioning... Okay, so you're positioning Janna for Trap Claw and oh, Shroud. Oh, right I guess you're positioning for Trap Claw, right? Yeah. I would assume. But I think Trap Claw we'll go, on we'll Seraphine is we'll not forward. as important as the possible Shroud on... on their board. Yeah, definitely. So again, it's like you you hit Shroud one out of I guess seven because you can't get Trap Claw. Uh, you can't get uh, TGs. Yeah. Oh my. Why the did I do that? What the fuck is this? Oh, I think it's because I'm trying to put on three socialite right now. The Galio. Can you die in this spot? No. Oh, actually, I technically can. But it's very unlikely. Yeah. Pretty unlikely, and also my portal's decent. I'm decent. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So I would have done it on 6 1. Yes. Because, <laughs> like, you, you just don't have enough. And you saw the Janna finally. Yeah. If I just had. Yeah, because it, it, having that 10 extra gold or whatever at the level 9 roll is actually super. Uh, well, it's 4 gold that you. Four gold that you uh, missed out on, right? By leveling sooner. It's gonna, and it's gonna plus go next interest round as plus well. interest gold. Yeah. It's so like leveling now. You probably would be like forty gold after leveling, or, or like at least like thirty high thirties. Yeah. And we're not rolling? Okay, thank god. Wow. We're, we're waiting for the shroud? Yeah. Oh, what did I shroud? Yeah, I don't know what you shrouded. Mm. I, I think Lux I, oh, I think Lux might be the bigger problem here. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Oh, I, oh, I shot out of the two-star Kaiza, but I guess she doesn't have good items. Oh, shit, there was a Kaisa. Okay, my bad, my bad. I thought you were shrouding. Okay, I didn't even notice the Kaisa. I thought you were shrouding yeah, the... Oh, shit, yeah. that's a Kaisa with those items? Oh, cool. Yeah, then it's fine. Correct, correct, correct play. I didn't okay. think that GA <laughs> Academy <laughs> spell Bramble is a Kaisa. Yeah. That's correct, that's correct play. Yeah, but like the the econ thing that you you miss out on. You really need that econ for two star Kaisa, 
two star Galio. Yeah, it would have been very helpful. I mean, probably still don't hit. But it's just higher chance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, here, yeah. like, you, you could sell the Taric and make another Taric, but you don't even have a pair, so there's no point. But if you had a if you had a Kaisa pair, I would definitely consider selling Taric, putting in one star Taric. Mm. You, you, like, you do understand the logic behind that, right? Oh, behind what? Behind selling Taric and putting one star Taric if you had a Kaisa pair. Oh. Uh yeah, yeah, because it gets you the gold. Yeah, it gets you the gold. It's like one star Terry, two star uh, Terry doesn't really matter, but like two star Kai size yeah. is huge. Yep, yep, yep. I get that. It's like kind of a yet to high roll, but yeah, it's a possibility. It's more of not I have to high roll. It's more of I'm fucked, so I need to like that's my only out. Kind of like last game. So I I, I don't think you're like you're you're not you're not going for your like your biggest possible outs. Like last game, it was definitely roll. Not go nine. Yeah. I mean, here you wanted to go. You wanted to go socialites. Um, there wasn't that much to hit, and Kaisers were contested. So like here, going nine wasn't wasn't the worst. Yeah. Uh -huh. And also, I was decently healthy. You're decently healthy. Yeah. I I, I do think the the QSS rage bait would have been better for for the Seraphine. And what got and me a little more fights, which might have gotten me top four. Then the spark and yeah, getting getting the two star brom with with uh, stone plate would have also been big. Yeah, so like this was definitely top four. So like the little minor things that then yeah, and then like the level up when you didn't need to level up and you didn't have enough gold. Yeah. So my like and it's just it's, it's just the minor things. Like you're 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 always like one or two rounds away from a top four. Yeah. So like if you eco on a little bit better at the start, you're top four. If you position a little bit better late game, you're top four. If you roll a little bit better, like you know that you need to spike a little bit better late game, you're top four. If you do all those things, you're top two or top one. Yeah. Yeah? Yep, yep. I see, I see. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Um, okay, so biggest mistake from the game. Uh, the one I remember was the gold thing at the beginning. I was leveling like, for no reason at all. Yeah, so like leveling up when you there, there's no like, you're leveling up. Oh yeah, uh, augments. Yeah, that augment. was augment choice as well was bad. Yeah. Oh, there was actually bad every every. No, this was yeah. So like, you whiff two out of three augments, also. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, you pick the 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 weaker ones two out of three times. Yeah. Yeah. That also didn't help much. That would definitely possibly change. Like if you had if you had a challenger, Seraphine, that would be nice. Instead of I top four. Yeah, yeah. That's top four. And if you didn't have yeah. dummy frontline, if you had um what were, like were there any other good options? Uh, I don't grab tag, so maybe it's a random tank item I might have got. Yeah, random item. Random item is never yeah. bad. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, random yeah. item. Random item was fine, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just um, like thinking, thinking about things a bit more. Yeah, I guess it's just about like, okay, so yes, forty front line is good generic, but in this situation, I have uh, Darius parity. Oh shit! And the Zyra, you really didn't value Zyra oh, no. at all. Oh yeah, the, the fuck. Oh yeah, I just fucked around with Zyra. You're just like, um, I don't care about Zyra. I don't want Zyra. I still don't want Zyra. Um, oh, I, I never actually played Zyra. Yeah. So that is also like, if, if any, if at any point you manage to preserve two more HP or top four. Yeah. And there were a <laughs> lot, a lot of chances for you to preserve two more HP. Yeah. Yeah. So a, 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 anything. Anything else you'd like to discuss? Um, anything else you noticed or? Uh, hmm. I mean, just yeah, I just like the, the the trend is is econ. Uh huh. The trend is uh, going for for streaks, doing like bigger things like full loss streak, full win, full win streak. Like going to extremes. Like okay, maybe you get really low HP, but you get a lot of gold, and then you then you level up and roll sooner. And spike sooner, and then you get back your HP, and you have a stronger board. 
Uh, oh yeah, and the itemization, like thinking about items, like the 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 Onyx Park, I think really was garbage considering that like you couldn't actually do anything with the other items, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, it just makes dead items for the yeah. rest of them. So it just like Ionic Spark is not bad, but if if I'm weighing Ionic Spark against Rage Blade plus QSS, so it's like, do you want? Yeah. One above average items, one one above average item or two average items. Yep, yep, yep. So it's uh, like yeah, two average yeah. items are definitely better than one above average item. Yep, for sure. So like overall trend, like yeah, making making items using your components like the like the the best you can like going for the best you can go for. And I, I'm not, I'm still not sold on the Morello here. I probably would have just gone for the Warmogs early. Cause like Perfect. that would have stable. Like yes, you you don't have uh, you don't have you don't have Morello, but like if you summon a Warmogs, like at any at any point, it's. Uh, if I was choosing the win streak, would you still go for the Warmogs? I mean, I lost streak. My bad. Um, I think it was close. I think it was actually like the the Morello is so so high value on TF, but now Morello got a little bit nerfed. Yeah. But like having Warmogs and Darius just. Stabilize is so hard. Like me, maybe even after Carousel, you could be like, okay, I'm gonna start winning now. Like you don't have to, you don't have oh, to go full last also. week. You're like, okay, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win three, uh, two five, two six. I'm gonna win after the creep round. I'm just gonna start winning with the Warmogs areas. With, with the Warmogs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Because Warmogs is very good early as well. And especially on Darius, right? Especially yeah. on Bodyguard. It's like he's a Bodyguard. He's a sneaker, so He's like tanky, tanky. So like extra HP yeah. is really good. So much value. Yeah. So it's like a, a lot of little things. There's like yeah. there wasn't any like huge glaring problem, but it's just like a lot of little things. So like having the forethought here somewhere that like you are gonna need uh, another blitz, right? Which you're not picking up. Yeah. There was a blitz here, like. It just by yeah, the probably it just, on, on this roll, on this roll, then I definitely I was just uh. Just one for time, but yeah, that, that's one thing I've noticed I don't like about fast aid is that uh, I roll either a four two or four five a lot, and I have to change a lot. And you, you, like, generally you did this well. way better than I would probably. Like I would probably fuck this up even more. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I rolling is it, definitely one of my cool. weakest weakest links or whatever. Like yeah, weaknesses, biggest weakness. But then again, like, why do you have the Victor? Why do you have the Seraphine? Why do you have the Scion? That's 20, 20 yeah. that's, that's too interesting on your bench. Yeah, that, that's, uh, yeah, obviously the Scion is the Galleon and the Victors, because I'm thinking I can possibly two star it. Um, yeah. But at this point in the game, like, you cannot frontline Victor because he would just die. And he was just like, he doesn't, like, Victor's just not as strong as Kaisa, or wasn't as strong as Kaisa in this patch, right? So just like knowing that Kaisa won, it's not good balance, but Kaisa won is stronger than Victor 2. Yeah. <laughs> that's like Okay. That's on Raya, that's not on you, but it's on you to know that this pack No, no that's that. Kaisa's yeah. better. Yep. Yep, yep. So it's it's um, Kaisa, Tom Kench, Akali, and then Victor. Because like Victor can't move. While all the other uh, ones so like move around and do stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I sell Ori too, obviously. Uh along with the Victor and Zion, right? Uh, to make 20. Uh, pretty sure I don't have two star Terry. Do I? Um, uh, uh, Ori. Ori, yeah, of course, Ori. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sell Ori. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, like, yeah, you yeah. sell the whole bench except Terry and you make 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then it's like, and now you're, like, now you're still at 20. Right? I so it's still like, do 20 and I, I just keep them, yeah. So it's just like, it's just like the econ. It's just like, Getting every econ edge you can get. You gotta go for every little econ edge you can get. <laughs> so go like, I think, I think econing is probably like the biggest thing in the game. Yeah. Like everything stems from having a good economy. Cause then you have more gold to roll, then you can like play different comps cause you just start hitting, oh, um, and just general trend, pick shit up. Just pick random shit up. Like, Oh, you, oh, oh, yeah. When you're rolling, just like hold the, the Leonas. Cause, <clears> like, <throat> at some point you sold the Leona, and now you like have another Leona, and then you sell it. Like, 
<laughs> if you're if you're playing like a two star poppy, and it doesn't cost you anything to hold the Leona, hold the Leona. Maybe okay. maybe play her, maybe don't play her. But like as soon as you, as soon as you hit two star Leona, you definitely play her. So it's like holding or like if you're playing Urgot, hold hold Yone and Jin, right? Just like having the option. Okay, maybe you hit something two star. Like you hit two star Jin before you hit Ur before you hit two star Urgot or before you hit two star Yone. So you play the Jin for a little bit. Because if, if AD carry specifically, the fact that they're two star wow. is so huge. Because they have like it multiplies their damage, right? Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. So just like pick more stuff up and have like more options to high roll. Because you don't give yourself that many options to high roll since you're not holding that much stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we can do a live game, we can go to bed. So you're your call right now. We're at two and a half hours. No, I, I think I think that's probably good actually. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I think I think the VOD review is pretty because honestly, uh, I feel like the live game is like low key, low key just kind of boosting me. But <laughs> I mean, like, uh, no, I, the, I live like the, the live game is more so like what I, what I like with the live game after after the VOD is like I see what you're implementing and I, I tell you, okay, so why are you not doing this? Like, I, I want to like, I mean, obviously we're over time, so like, if you don't want to go for a third hour, that's fine. But it's like the live game, it's not about boosting; it's about me looking at if you're implementing the things or not right away. Okay, uh, let's do it then. Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. It, yeah. yeah. If you want to, if you want to go for a third hour, like I don't mind. I, I have time. So if you don't mind. Okay. For sure. Okay. Awesome. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Of course. Of course. All right. Thanks. So thank you guys for watching. This concludes the VOD review for our friend Saint. Hope you guys learned something. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pathogaming out.